Hi, this is Karen Linder, head softball coach. I uh, want to share some information about the last week. We were very fortunate um, that we were able to get all four games in and we were able to go to Youngstown State in midweek on, on Wednesday, last Wednesday and we're able to come away with a double header sweep. Um, what was interesting about that is uh, in our first at bat, um, we got Danny Ramos on, on base and Shelby Tilton was able to hit a two run shot to set the tone for the day. So that was pretty exciting. Um, we ended up winning three to one um, and it was a very hard fought battle for us. So really pleased with you know the performance of the team from a both a defensive standpoint, pitching standpoint, and on, on offensively, the second game was even better. You know, we were able to come away with a seven to three win. But what was nice about that win is is that we were able to play some different people midweek, and so I was very happy um, with what we did both from a pitching standpoint, a defensive standpoint, and an offensive standpoint. Um, so that was very positive. Um, Going into the weekend, we were supposed to play at Buffalo and start MAC play um, and Buffalo's field not playable. So the uh, we were able to play and we played Buffalo uh, yesterday in a double header. Um, and I can't and our facility people, so we were able to get our field ready to play and we weren't anticipating that. Happy. Uh, to be able to do that. Um, we expected a battle and we got a battle. We were very fortunate um, to be able to come away with two wins um, to start off MAC play. Yesterday it was a little bit different for us because normally we rely on our pitchers to dominate and uh, we ended up hitting three home runs in the first game and three home runs in the second game. And, and what was also interesting about that was that um, in both games we hit back-to-back -back home runs. Um, you know, for us to be able to to put, um, you know, take control of both ball games. Um, Janelle Hayes had two runs on the on the day and had six RBIs over the past week, so she is playing really well. Uh, Janelle's a pitcher, but we've got her playing right field. We have her DP in. She we have her in relief. Um, you know, she's doing a little bit of everything. I'm really happy with what she's doing at this point in time. And and some of those home runs came from people that we don't normally get home runs from. Uh, freshman KP, um, Caitlin Purvis was able to, to hit one out. Ronnie Ladinas, who is a, one of our starting pitchers, um, she was able to hit one out. So. Uh, our offensive production over the weekend was just outstanding, um, and we have, you know, some of our upperclassmen are doing their jobs. Kim Kirkpatrick had a good weekend, and and so we're really happy um, with the with the two sweeps, and we're getting ready for this weekend to head out to Ball State and Miami, and and we know that's going to be a challenge. So we're looking forward to it. Hey, I'm back. I wanted to make a special mention of one of our relief pitchers, Alyssa Frankenfield. On Sunday, the second game um, against Buffalo, she did a fantastic job coming in with um, runners on second and third with no outs. Um, Buffalo had scored two runs in that inning and just came in and shut them down. Got the last six outs of the game to pres preserve the win. And so very proud of Alyssa's performance. It, it was a great job. And the, and the other mention I want to make is, is that our, our lineup, all the way up and down our lineup, we're getting offensive production from as much from the bottom as we are from the top. So really happy and proud of those kids because everyone's taking their turn coming through in the clutch. And, and that's why we're doing so well this season.